teachers uh, and the Kenya Union of Post-Primary Teachers tomorrow. That's in a bid to ward off a looming strike. Already, Kapit has issued a strike notice while not officials are contemplating similar action after the government failed to allocate funds to cater for teachers' allowances in the budget. Rita Tinina now reports on the latest showdown between teachers and the government. And now, the Uhuru Kenyatta administration may be staring at the first industrial action against the government with teachers threatening to abandon chalks and chalkboards. The latest confrontation between the government and teachers stems from the 1.6 trillion shilling budget read by the National Treasury Cabinet Secretary last week. The Kenya National Union of Teachers wanted at least 50 billion shillings allocated for the recruitment and promotion of teachers as well as settlement of allowances that were negotiated in the year 1997. None of the funds were factored in the budget. Already, the Kenya Union of Post-Primary Teachers has issued a strike notice over the missing funds in the budget. The classroom must be empty until the government pays. The Kenya National Union of Teachers top organ is in coming days set to make a decision that could see teachers go on strike. Some union officials, however, argue that NAT may this time not be required to issue a strike notice. We have reached our emotional threshold. The center can no longer hold. Deputy President William Ruto is on Monday expected to meet NAT and Cupet officials in a bid to avert the looming strike. But with the two teachers' unions speaking in one voice, the stage appears set for a showdown between teachers and the government. And the government's honeymoon may be over as it grapples over how to keep teachers in class. Rita Tinina, KTN.